biggest challenge I faced in my career so far is actually to define what I really want. During a PhD and a postdoc, I was so immersed in my project that I didn't really look beyond that. Um, and at some point, uh, I was forced to take a break because of my baby and looking back, this was actually a good thing, even though at that point I was very unhappy that I had to leave my unfinished project because I had the time to think about what I really want. And this is so important to see, identify your strength and see your skills and find what fits your personality because there are so many opportunities for scientists. But if you're in academia, you tend to only look at academia and um, it really takes a lot of effort to identify what else you can do besides what you're already doing. One of the biggest challenges I faced in my career so far has actually been deciding to apply for a job once I thought that the career might be a fit for me without having a full understanding of what exactly the job would entail. A job that I thought would be really interesting for me, but I didn't necessarily understand what the day-to-day -day life would be like, or what some of the salary might be like, or some of those other sorts of considerations, and still making the best decision for me at the time, thinking it would be good to apply for this job, applying for it, and then going ahead and accepting the offer when that would represent a significant pivot from all of my previous experiences. And so there's oftentimes this big mental hurdle that you need to get over in order to make that sort of pivot. And for me, that's been one of the biggest hurdles. The biggest challenge I've faced, I would say, is making that transition from academia to industry. In academia, it's really about individual success and sort of, as an individual, what can you do and what can you achieve? And in that industry, it's, it's really a transition away from just you and how you, can, how you can achieve things by yourself to really how do you fit in as a team? How do you fit into that ecosystem? And that's a difficult mindset to sort of change, especially when you've gone through a pretty lengthy PhD process um, and often a reasonably long postdoc. So really for me, it was figuring out how to make that transition, figuring out how to fit in as a team, how to leverage others and sort of create synergy in your work. And so in, instead of, again, being an individual, succeeding as a team, the biggest challenge I have faced in my career so far has been trying to raise a child at the same time as I was a graduate student and a postdoc. A lot of people in the labs where I was working had a lot of extra time to put in um, at the bench in the lab. And because I had to pick up my daughter every day at 5.30, um, I didn't have the option of putting in those hours. And to try to compete with people for job positions in a situation like that is extremely difficult. And that's one reason I think that having more family support systems available for early career researchers who are trying to raise families or possibly take care of older family members um, at the same time as they're trying to get their careers up and going uh, would be a great value to the field and would help retain um, strong scientists in the sciences.